What's going on guys, LCG here, back with another episode of Rogue Wizards. So, I believe I promised you guys, actually I know I promised you guys, that I would do a recap of how I manage my inventory uh, before we went any further with this series, which that's what I'm going to do today. But some of you may have noticed at the end of the last episode, yeah, we unlocked another building down here. It's a jeweler. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a peek and see what they've got for sale. We'll look at all these shops as well, and then I'll dive into the inventory management part, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and click on that, pull up the shop, and be happy to see there are, oh wow, these rings are... Well, they're, they're not particularly expensive, but they're, they're pretty nice in nature. Um, necklaces aren't bad. They all look like decent upgrades at least. So that's cool. And we see that that requires a new gemstone in order to upgrade this particular shop, which is kind of neat. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen any of those drop just yet, so We'll keep that in mind. We got storyline updates and all of these. I'm just going to go ahead and... All right, I'll read through it. Has a deer beaten you up lately? Just yesterday, and I enjoyed every minute. What a glutton for punishment. I'm designing a new guild academy. A bigger one. What for? Meryl and her grandfather want to open its doors to bandlets who can do magic. The guild council will never agree to that. You assume they'll have a choice. Alright, so he's moving on with his life. Going to be a professor of sorts. A blacksmith. Uh, dear, uh, Karma's a good guy, don't you think? Sure. Wait, are you falling for a bandlet? What will your family say? I've never been good at playing the proper Elam girl. Oh, dirty gal. Would you like me to write a letter to your family? If only I had a family. How sad. Maybe you're lucky, though. How's that? The others here are watching their families suffer. That's depressing. Uh, Elvain, can you tell me the fate of Rolfenor? I see. Great change, but the threads are split. One shows a land of happy people, the other terrible suffering. I'll take the first one. You could be the one who decides. Don't joke! I'm not cut out for that kind of responsibility. And Meryl. Let's see what you got to say, Meryl. Elenge and I defeated Orvin, but the latest message from your grandfather isn't good. What did he say? That the guild is beginning to suspect him. We have to help him. I'm afraid we cannot. He has chosen to remain there, working from the inside. Can't someone else do that? There's no one else we can trust. Not anymore. Hosperak controls the last two elements, and they're the strongest, right? Yes, we're searching for his connection to nature. We should have it soon. Help a lens settle in, then return quickly. All right, so that's all done. Okay, now, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to talk through this slowly and try to convey all the points because I kind of get scatterbrained with this. So, after every dungeon, I come back and the first thing I do is I pull up the supply depot. All right, we're not running short on money, but sometimes we run short on these okay and that's exactly what we're running short on i always buy all of these up if i can handle them i'll buy them okay and you can see i've been doing that with keys as well i don't really need to do that anymore i also buy up potions as many as they'll let me buy and i always make it say that just because the that you're only allowed to have five because if there's a bug in the game and i can get away with picking up an extra one i will take it all right, next step, I come to the blacksmith shop. I look at everything they have, okay? Uh, right now, I'm only interested in the chakrams and multiple target items. So this is a class type chakram, but it only has one target. That being said, it is a much higher damage to it, much higher. So, I would entertain this one at that price. This is 163 damage, and this one was 184. And that's a common one. 
all right? So actually, before I go any further, what I'm gonna tell you is I go through and I sell off every single one of my common items. So common, 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 right? Get rid of all of these. They don't, they don't do me any good. They don't have any bonuses on them. They're just basic items. So quick way to tell is you might've noticed everything I just sold to include this one. They don't have any glowing around them. Whereas rare has blue. So that's a nice staff. That's perfectly good, but it's common. But all right, these ones that are yellow, I mean, I have not looked at them yet. So we can just quick drag over those and come back. But the purple ones, these are legendary. They deserve a little bit more scrutiny and should not just be sold on a whim. And I'll tell you why here in a minute. So you'll see as I sell each and every one of these common items, this upgrade number drops down. We will continue to sell all of the common items. All right. Now the rare and the legendary items sell for a lot more and whack this number down a little bit faster than what they actually sell for. All right. Uh, what I will do then is bring them all into the backpack or sometimes the bag. It doesn't really matter. Just get them all on the same page so that I can start looking at them and comparing them. Um, I've found the chakrams are what I like to work with. So I don't even entertain anything other than a blade or a sword type because they have high damage. So I, I do look at these, uh, which is a lance. So I guess what I'm saying is a staff right out the window. Not interested. These little Skagox, get rid of them. Uh, throwing stars, I don't want you. I don't use you. I really don't. Sorry. But, oh, look at that. Now we're ready for an upgrade. But, when I upgrade, these disappear. So, right now I'm a little low on cash, but... I think I'm going to do it. Just for the sake of showing you guys how I do this, right? Alright, cool. All said and done, I have an armorer's hammer, right? A sledgehammer. So I'll do the upgrade. Any new chakrams in here? 168 versus the 184 that I just bought. Not worth entertaining. Um, this bearded axe? Nope, nope, nope. Mm, no. Okay, cool. Now this is a decent upgrade. To the uh, exploding saber that I currently have. How much of an upgrade? Um, not much. Not when you take into account the explosion on hit chance. But when it comes to melee, you want as much damage as possible right then and there. So I would say this is a a fair item to swap out there. Okay. Now, if you look at this, so I'll go back here real quick. Rank 35 of 38. The one I just took out was rank 29 of 32. And it has an explosion on hit chance. So every time your mastery gets to the next rank, you get a random enchantment. This game has completely random enchantments, right? They're not necessarily, there's bounds based on the rank and uh, I guess level type of the item, but yeah. So that right there was worth 3000 gold, but it knocked this down by 8,000. And I have one more hammer to sell. And you'll see right here, whoop, there's an arrow showing you if it's an upgrade or a downgrade. That only takes into account the defense. So this is a downgrade based on defense, but um, yeah, let's say it had, that's a bad example because it's not actually an upgrade. So we'll sell that anyway. Um, all right. So right here, good example. This says it's an upgrade with 174 defense, but 
The one I have on now is 167 defense, 12 stamina, 3 body armor rank, 1 staff rank, 1 bow rank, and 1 blade rank. It's hard for me to justify switching to this war helm when the knight helm is way better. Sell it. Okay, so you can kind of get a feel there for what I'm doing. But it, it gets harder as you move on. So what you want to do is start looking at things like their base statistic, right? The, the defense here is 366, but it has not been upgraded at all through mastery. I did, however, I believe I ran this one in through the enchantment, which is actually what I'm going to do to this right now if I can. So with the chakram, all I want is more targets. I want at least six targets from each throw. They start out hitting three and then additional targets is three. So enchant it, what did I get? 5% chance to banish on hit. Sorry, I'm selling that because I want more targets. So we can come back to the blacksmith shop. Bam. Upgrade. No new chakrams, only bows. And I haven't dabbled with bows at all yet. But naturally. So now I'm going to move away from the blacksmith and come over to the armory. Okay? I only need 1300 gold in order to upgrade that. So I'm not going to sell any of those. I'm going to sell something worth as little as possible. These boots. They're a huge downgrade. I'll sell those, upgrade, and take a quick skim here. It says that's an upgrade, not true. Now I'm getting to a point right now where a lot of my gear is legendary or divine. So this has two rank ups, and uh, I couldn't tell you which those stats are from ranking up through mastery, but I'll tell you that it makes it really hard for me to replace this when it's got 12 stamina. You know, you just, it's, it's really strange. Right now, for the most part, I don't know that I would even replace a legendary or divine item because there's not a huge disparity between upgrades. Now this, is a 76 damage and 45 defense um, amulet that I'm sorry I'm already wearing a 76 damage and 45 defense the one that I have in my inventory is 42 defense and a fire magic rank up but that extra 76 damage comes in pretty handy so I'm not willing to upgrade that I gotta make sure I click over here, sell that, and you'll see that gave me about 10,000 gold worth of credit there. Um, let's see this, Royal Armor of Absorption. Apparently this is a better, up, uh, better item. I am inclined to switch to the Royal Armor right now. It has almost double the defense Um, but it doesn't have the 14 stamina, and that's going to be hard to justify without a good enchantment. But we'll look at these as well to see if there's anything that's even comparable. 249 for the blades rank. That one was 230, 226. So... First quick test. Yep. So if we equip that, you can see the difference in stats there at the bottom. Uh, I go from 303 defense and 884 blocking to 305 and 946. So a good enchant on that will make it worth upgrading to. And I got plus two to shields rank. Not really what I was looking for, but I'll still upgrade it. 
and hopefully through mastery I'll get some more desirable perks and I could even go through what I get more defense don't care Whoop. ah I goobered that one up sorry guys we'll come back to that one that was a big mistake see what happens when I get in a rush all right we can upgrade now and this is where you want to pay attention so enhanced blocking that's an effect that I have not seen 201 damage to melee attackers this right here is only doing 120 as it is and this one right here I can just flat out sell that one not comparable so is that worth 9,000 gold? Possibly. We'll give it a go. I'm going to buy it just because we're, we're kind of experimenting right now. All right. And I kept this on hand for too long. I'm getting rid of it. Uh, I don't have any more anvils, but we'll go ahead and cash out these items for now. Just because I'm kind of trying to, you know, be expedient about this without rambling too much all right so we said we were going to enchant this Ooh. no this one I think it was this one and Helms rank plus one Garbo not nah, worth our time so it looks like we're selling everything we have right now and that's how I go through and I guess control my inventory so it doesn't get crazy out of hand now these talisman that right there is awesome I love that additional targets more damage we're getting to a point where you see a lot more uh, a lot more targets in these areas right so being able to hit six of them at once is great um, five is okay four is acceptable in my eyes that's just personal preference so I'm gonna hang on to this in hopes that one day I stumble across a new chakram that I can socket that into but that one I will sell and I will sell quickly since we're here, let's look at rings. We want a ring that does damage. So this is a damage upgrade and a defense upgrade with three sockets. I like that one a lot. So it would probably behoove me to write this down. I've done that a couple times. 64 damage. 58 defense 64 and 52 56 and 51 now we're just getting out of hand all right so I'm willing to spend half of my money for that bad boy and we can go ahead and equip that right away and sell this one back notice it because it's divine it sells for a lot more cool we can use all the gold we can now necklaces or the amulets uh, you'll notice we already have a pretty high level amulet rank 34 is the max this is rank 38 so I don't know how much of an upgrade we might actually find here but defense and damage is what we're looking for defense and stamina nope nothing there at all so once we can upgrade we'll go ahead and upgrade and that'll reshuffle all the items in here and we will be good to go so I believe we've covered the armory the blacksmith the supply depot and the jeweler now the jeweler is brand new to me so that's the first time I've seen them at all we've covered the enchanting shrine and the vault which I have not been using at all because I don't need to hold on to items for very long so why um, we will come over here 
and look at Meryl's Inn. So we have three of the four possible pets. Ember. I don't use Ember much just because I don't feel Ember does much damage. I've used Auris since I unlocked him just because he has the Banish spell. When things just flat out disappear, I like that. And then Mitty is the one that heals party members. I feel like the healing on him is negligible and he could probably use a buff for, you know, through the developers. That would be wise if you ask me, but that's just me being a player. Okay, now that is everything with the exception of the cauldron. From here, you can craft potions, which in my eyes is worthless because I just buy them. You can see we never really have an issue with money when it comes to buying potions or keys. You can make the Crimson Ash, which is used for fire-based spells. Once again, completely worthless to me. Terrestrial Silt, same thing. Luminous Sphere, are none of these. This cauldron is a complete waste of time to me. I just buy them through the Supply Depot. Maybe on a higher difficulty it's worth it, but not for me. All right, and that is all I have for this episode, guys. I promised I would get it out, so I got it out. Uh, one last thing that I do want to touch on is that this series is not getting much love these days. That's unfortunate because we're so close to the end. So I might burn through the last few dungeons and then just bring you back for the rifts. But I do want to finish the game for my own sake and for the sake of Spellbind Studios and for the sake of those last few souls who are remaining in it until the end. But that's it for now. So everybody, thank you once again for tuning in. I appreciate all the support you guys continue to show on this series, on the Fallout 4 series and anything else that I've been producing. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. I hope this has answered somebody's questions. That Somebody out there must have been as lost as I was throughout this whole game. Realistically, blow through stuff until you get a significant upgrade. That's what this game has taught me. There's too much randomness to really be able to try and predict what you really want. And that's fine. That's part of the game. So, otherwise, everybody stay happy, stay healthy, and... Eat your Cheerios, most important part of the day, right? All right, Godspeed everybody, take care.